Sophie from asexualized.com and author of Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. Welcome to day five of Asexual Awareness Week. So today I'm going to talk to you about what asexuality isn't. I've talked to you about what asexuality is in a previous video and this is what asexuality isn't. Asexuality is not celibacy. Celibacy is a choice. Celibacy is when you choose to abstain, not have sex. For whatever reason, it could be for religious reasons, because you actually don't like sex, because um, your families put pressure on you to not have sex before marriage. It could be for a number of reasons. Doesn't matter, you're choosing to abstain from sex. Asexuality is a sexual orientation that people can't help. It's an orientation, just like heterosexuality is an orientation, pansexuality is an orientation, homosexuality is an orientation, asexuality is an orientation, yeah? Heterosexuals can't help being heterosexual, just like asexuals can't help being asexual. Asexuality is not a disease, asexuality is not an illness. Asexuality is nothing to be fixed, asexuality does not mean you're broken. Asexuality is a genuine sexual orientation that is a lack of sexual attraction. It is not something that means there's anything wrong with you. It's not a deficiency in hormones. It's not a lack of sex drive physically, as in the sense of it's just physical. Asexuality is the mental capacity to know that you do not experience sexual attraction, you don't have the need, the urge or want for sex. So in your mind, you know you don't want it because asexuals can still experience arousal. So asexuality is not, a, you know, not restricted to people who just don't feel arousal because I feel arousal and I'm still asexual. Asexuality is not restricted to those who don't watch porn. I don't watch porn, but some asexuals do. Asexuality is not limited to those who have never had sex before in their life, because some asexuals have had sex in their life before. Asexuality is not limited to people who don't masturbate, because some asexuals do masturbate. So that is some of the things that asexuality is not, okay? Asexuality is not a choice. Asexuality is something to be cherished. Asexuality is amazing because it means we're not a product of conditioning of society. We're an amazing 1% of the entire population, which is one in every hundred, a recorded one in every hundred. And it means we're not a byproduct of conditioning of advertising saying you need sex, of people filling your head with the fact that you have to have sex to have a loving, healthy, happy relationship, which is simply not true. There are heterosexuals, bisexuals, pansexuals, who sometimes have to stay away from their partner for work or whatever reason, and they'll still remain faithful because of the emotional connection, because the fact they still love their person even if they can't have sex with them. There are people with disabilities that are still sexual, but they might not be able to have sex. This still doesn't mean to say they don't love their partner any less, they just can't have sex. But those are not asexuals, those are circumstances. But what I'm trying to say is there's times when sexuals do not have sex, but they can still be in happy, healthy, loving relationships. Love and sex don't have to go together. They're not mutually exclusive with each other. I have an asexual boyfriend, I'm very, very happy, and I'm finally in an asexual relationship. I'm asexual, he's asexual, and it is amazing. And so do not give up hope. Asexuals are not all meant to stay single forever. Asexuals do not have to be in relationships with sexuals, because there are other asexuals out there looking for long lasting, fulfilling relationships without sex. I'm lucky to have found my asexual soulmate and I really hope that you find yours. Or if you're after asexual friends, I hope you find a ton of asexual friends who can add a lot of diversity, a lot of warmth, a lot of care to your life.
I'm real, you're real. Let's spread awareness of asexuality. Let's share this video. Get your friends talking about it. Get your friends interested about it. Share all these videos from my channel as much as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe down below and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.